but this Carl Paladino character running for governor in California as a Republican um, has some unique ideas about the poor and welfare recipient. He has this brilliant idea that, hey, you know what? We should transition and transform some New York prisons into dormitories for welfare recipients. So he wants to take people on welfare and put them in prison. Now he says, no, look, it's not mandatory, it's voluntary, and I'm not telling you that you got to go to prison, prison. I'm just saying they're old prisons. I'm transforming them to, and I'm putting you where you belong. I mean, I'm trying to help you. He says they need help with their personal hygiene, and that'll be one of the many things that we can teach them in our new transformed prisons. All right, here are some quotes. He said, um, instead of handing out welfare checks, we'll teach people how to earn their check. We'll teach them personal hygiene the personal things they don't get when they come from dysfunctional homes. So all you people on welfare, etc., I mean, you all come from dysfunctional homes, obviously, and you haven't been taught to act like a decent, civilized human being, and that's why you can't get a job. So I'm going to put you in prison, and, I'm sorry, a transformed prison, and we'll turn some of the guards into counselors, and they'll tell you how to take a bath, and then you'll be able to get a job. Is he not merciful? Is he not merciful? I mean, this is classic Republican thing. Okay, he continues. Look, these are beautiful properties, referring to the prisons. These are beautiful properties with basketball courts, bathroom facilities, total facilities, toilet facilities. They've got toilets. They've got toilets in there. What are you still complaining for? Okay, and then he continues. Many young people would love to get the hell out of the cities. Yeah. No, no, no. This guy, he's hung out in the city a lot. And he knows. He's got, a, he's got his finger on the pulse of what's going on there. Because people are thinking, I can't wait to live, leave where I live with my family and friends and go to a transformed prison where they have toilets. And they'll teach me how to take a shower. Yeah, that's how people think. You nailed it. But you get what's happening here? This is the Republican vision of the poor. They think that these are like bums. They don't know anything about anything. And they belong in a prison-like atmosphere where we can teach them how to be decent human beings. He's not done yet. He's got one more. He says, look, quote, you have to teach them basic things, taking care of themselves, physical fitness, in their dysfunctional environment. They never learn these things. Unbelievable. I mean, look. Am I telling you that every person who's on welfare is the model of hygiene? Okay, no, no, no. We keep it real on TYT, okay? Yes, some folks have issues, okay? If you've been in a city, you know some folks got issues, right? But if you think that's how everybody is, I mean, he's talking about the newly unemployed, too. So a guy who had a job last week or last month or last year, a guy who'd been working this whole time, he could have been working in construction, he could have been working for IBM, he could have been whatever, right? Now he's in a bad spot, and he hates doing it, but he's got to take some food stamps. As an example of the things that Carl Palladino thinks should be changed. You're going to take that guy, and you're going to insult him by saying, oh, no, no, you don't, the reason you don't have a job anymore, even though you had one last month, is not because you got outsourced, not because you got downsized, not because we don't have a manufacturing base anymore in America, not because of any of those things. It's because you're a bum, and you're, you don't even know how to take a shower. So we're going to put you in a prison and have people teach you how to be civilized. Now, if you're not repulsed by that, okay, then go vote for Republicans. Go vote for Carl Palladino, and, and everything will be fine. I mean, you'll get uh, this, this jolly world Republican ideal where the rich are, you know, stay where they are and they pay even less taxes. In fact, that's part of Palladino's platform. He says he's going to cut state budget in New York by 20%, and then he's going to cut the personal tax inc uh, income taxes in New York by 10 percent, including, of course, for the very rich. So the rich get even more money, and the poor, these un literally unwashed masses, get shuffled off into prison where they're taught, you know, how to be, uh, behave. And we teach them all the things they need to learn. It's disgusting, man. Absolutely disgusting. That's your vision of the world. You know who to vote for. If that's not your vision of the world, you know who has absolutely no business in public office.